Okay, um, let me continue. So very briefly, I'm going to mention something called the, the root services document. So this is, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is something that's specific to rational jazz servers, as well as some rational products like ClearQuest, as well as uh, Doors implement something similar to root services or, or root services itself. There's uh, root services is what I was talking about where we need to be able to bootstrap our consumer to find the OSLC catalog and maybe find out some additional information about um, the OSLC provider that we're talking to. So I'm really quickly going to bring up the, um, the, uh, the root services document for RTC and point out a couple of things in it before I carry on to the authentication piece of this. So. In this tab, I'm going to, there's the URL for um, RTC's root services. And again, this is, you know, something that would be implementation dependent. You'd have to look in the documentation for um, the, the product that you want to integrate with. How do you get this type of information? Um, this is what it is for the JAZZ servers. So I'm going to do a get and send that request. And the, the root services document has tons of stuff in it most of it which is not interesting at all to us. But there's two things that are interesting to us. Um, one is this section right here that I'm highlighting, which contains the URLs to the catalogs. So uh, Rational Team Concert has two OSLC catalogs, one for change management. You can see that by looking at this URL here. This is the standard URL for OSLC change management. And it has they have a... Um, a prototype implementation or an early implementation of the um, the, the um, sorry the, the source control management uh, specification the configuration management specification. So those you know when I went to the catalog originally this is the URL that I went to back at the beginning of that section the catalog section and this is how I would discover that URL is by looking in at least for a jazz product is by looking in the um, the catalog section of the root services document. The, the other section of the root services document that's going to be interesting to us here are is this section here which deals with um, quite a few URLs that are related to OAuth. So what I'm going to do so we don't have to keep looking at this huge document, I'm going to copy these OAuth related URLs and I'm going to paste them just in a text editor over here. And when I get to the OAuth section, I'm going to be coming back here. And I'm also going to put these, separate these URLs and put them in an order that I'm going to use them so that when we come back here, uh, this ordering will make a little bit more sense to you. So that's all I was really going to say about root services. For, for most OSLC consumers who just want to access um, jazz artifacts, the, what you're going to use root services for is to find the catalog and um, optionally, if you want to use OAuth authentication, uh, you're going to use it to get the uh, URLs that you need to use in order to do the OAuth dance that I'm going to talk about here in a second. So I'm going to pause right here before I move on to authentication. Okay. Hey, Sean, on time, um, we've got about 12 minutes left. Is it going to be okay if we go a couple minutes over? Yes, Mike, that's that's fine. We have the – nothing stopping us from going over, and I'm sorry to everyone who may have to drop off, but uh, recording will be posted. Yeah, I, I should be able to get through most of this. I just didn't want to – I just want to know if I should rush to the finish or, or just sort of let it flow here. So let, let's continue.